Hey everyone, it's Amy from Artful Artsy Amy, and I'm here to help you do a quick guide to get started with Screencast-O-Matic using your document camera. So if you go to screencast-o-matic.com, you're going to see something just like this. You don't have to register, you don't have to make an account, you can actually make your own videos and publish them to the web and actually save them as a file without having to make an account, which is something that's great, especially for you as a teacher, but also for your students when you don't want them to have to use an email. All you would do is you would click on start recording, okay, and once you do that, it's going to take you to a page like this and you may have to click start recording again. The great thing about Screencast-O-Matic is it's going to automatically detect if you have a microphone and it's going to help you go through that process. So if you're new to technology or technology scares you, they've tried to make this process what we call intuitive um, or as easy for newbies as possible. It's so easy to use. I just started a few days ago and I feel like I have something to share with you. So after you click on that recording button, something is going to pop up with this dotted line. Now, since I'm already recording, this is just a screenshot, okay? And what you can see with this dotted line is you can actually stretch that out to be as big or little as you would like. And think of it as a clear piece of plastic, a clear piece of acetate. Anything that is underneath or inside of this dotted line is going to be part of your recording, okay? So that makes it really easy if it's like an embedded video and you don't want to do it full screen, you can still have it small, all that kind of stuff. In this case, you could see that I was getting ready to start a screencast on the MOLA, on, excuse me, the Kuna people, and they make MOLAs, of course, right? Now, if you're upset about this area right here, once you click record, this will disappear. Your record button is this little red button right here. You'll click it to record. It'll count down from you, three, two, one, and then you'll start recording. If you want to pause at any point, you just click again. You can pause, click around, and basically what it is is whatever appears on your screen is what Screencast-O-Matic is going to record. Once you're finally done, there'll be a button over here. You can't see it again because I did a screenshot and it wasn't available then, but there'll be a button that says done. When you click on done, it'll give you some choices to save the video to your computer. You could publish it to YouTube, or you could publish it to Screencast-O-Matic. My understanding is, is if you want to publish to Screencast-O-Matic, then you need to have a Screencast-O-Matic account. Um, I think there's some benefits that come with that. Um, I can be honest with you, I, I don't really need them yet, so I'm not worried about it. I've been publishing to YouTube with great ease. Um, and that's also really easy because it keeps you from having a bunch of video files saved to your drives, okay? Now I want to show you exactly what it does. So we're on my computer right now. I can click around. I could click up the web pages I was on. Um, I can click over. You can see there's my school web page, right? I can click over here. I can show you. Um, this was the warm up we were working on this morning. Um, here's a PowerPoint we were looking at. Here are all my folders. So you can see I'm able to click around with a lot of ease. The big question that all of you have had for me is how are you getting what's on your document camera to be on your screencast o -Matic? It is so easy to get images from your document camera onto your Screencast-O-Matic. So I'm going to show you my setup to see if that helps you. So here is my desk as I sit at it, right? Um, and here is my laptop computer, all right? And I have a USB cord that goes from my laptop to my document camera. Now, the way I'm connected to my DLP projector or your overhead projector, whatever you call it, um, is a VGA cable. So here's my VGA cable. True, 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 and that goes out to my DLP projector, which is actually, I'm, I'm very fortunate, mine's ceiling mounted, aren't I lucky, right? So that goes out. So basically, um, whatever is on my screen is also on my projector, okay? So it's, it's a mirrored system, right? So what I do is I turn on my document camera, which is actually on right now for me to do this for you, okay? And I work on my demonstration, and I can see exactly what my hands are doing on my on my computer screen and my students can see it behind me. The reason why I like this setup is I can look at my students, I can check and see to make sure everyone's paying attention, but I can also see in real time what it is they're seeing so I know if it doesn't make sense. I like this setup because as you can see, my right hand is your right hand, my left hand is your left hand. So it's a really nice way to show them how to manipulate materials, okay? So since whatever I'm drawing down here is appearing on my screen, Screencast-O-Matic can pick it up. Okay, now I'm using a fairly inexpensive 
um, document camera made by a company called Learning Resources, and it's called the Luna Camera. Um, but I've used all different types of document cameras. They work really similarly. I'm not as familiar with Elmo, which I know quite a few of you used, but my understanding is it's a very similar setup. So I hope that this is something that can kind of help you get started with Screencast-O-Matic. Um, it is so wonderful. You can hear my voice is already hoarse, but because I have pre-recorded demos, I'm able to preserve my voice, focus more on my students paying attention, um, and I can also upload things to the web. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope I'm able to come to you soon with more helpful Screencast-O-Matic tips. Have a great one.